Welcome to the Jimmy Star Show. Hi, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> okay, we were working on it. It's terrific. Welcome back. We're so happy to have you. I'm not going to introduce you to everybody because you know all of us already, but you look gorgeous. And let me well, tell you thank something. you very much. Sharon. You look, you Sharon. look fabulous yourself, Let's, both of you. Uh, wait, Sharon, listen. You don't need to have music anymore. Why don't you do Playboy? You could make a ton of money. <laughs> You're so gorgeous. Senator Fold, a boy, oh boy, would you knock him dead? Here we go. You know. gorgeous. Is she not beautiful? Look Absolutely. At that Look at her. She could use a breast implant. The chest is too small. Oh, <laughs> mom. My mom is listening. What do you hi, like? mom. Let's what say hi. Like? What, what do you like? A 38D? Ron. <laughs> hey, listen. Howard Stern does it. Made millions. I'm just trying to follow suit. <laughs> First of all, Sharon, can you see what I'm wearing? I love it. I am wearing my Sharon Leah band shirt, everybody. Sharon Leah is the singer for the Sharon Leah band. She has a new CD out. Uh, it's an EP, and it's called Forevermore. I'm going to like, Chad, can you see that or no? That's a little too <laughs> Jimmy, far away. Jimmy, okay. Jimmy loves to upstage me. He never told me he was wearing the T-shirt because had I known, I would have worn mine. So he silently sneaks the T-shirt on just I thought, to upstage me. No, I actually – that's not what I did. I actually thought it would be cheesy if we both wore them at the same time. Since I've got the CD and the shirt, I thought I would do it. And then he's all dressed like a professional today. Oh, like today. I have a shirt with long sleeve. <laughs> well, change. you guys are always handsome all the time, so you're like my two favorite guys. There you go. Well, you you love it. Even though we never see you anymore. Who has two? Well, make time for me because I'm waiting for that dinner invitation. You there know you what? Go. I haven't even called uh, Sister Sledge. What's her name? Kathy. Kathy. Yeah, we haven't had time. I haven't even called <laughs> Kathy Sledge, and she's a big item. So don't feel bad. You know, you're up there. With well, I would be happy to. Just to have dinner with you guys. No, yeah, there I know, but go. I promise you it's going to be with Kathy. And I, and I love Kathy Sledge. I mean, I love Sister Sledge all my life. And you mentioned Patty LaBelle, I think. Oh, Patty, you told me I had a we haven't worked that one out yet. We're yeah, still working Patty on that LaBelle one. Patty LaBelle is working. She's making moolah. So when Patty LaBelle works, you know, she gets a little important. We had to wait for her to be out of work. Then we'll get her. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all right, well, I'll come of, over. I'll just, come over just to visit you guys. That's oh, fine. That's, that's good, too. Any time for yeah. that. But so, I did yeah. promise you. Uh, uh, Sister Sledge. Yeah, we're going to work on that. We're going to work on that. In the meantime, Sharon, there's a chat room full of people. Say hello to everybody in the chat room. Hi, every single person in the chat room. I realized that the reason for the, the um, sound issues was I was in the chat room and I had all the volume off on the uh, website. You know, but for some reason it was feeding back. So I cannot see what's in the chat room. So if there's anything cool going on. Okay, um, well, Cindy Lady Lake wants you to say hello to her. <laughs> Hi, lady. Hi, Cindy. I love you. And Cindy Lady Lake Jen is in there, and Jimmy McCrary is in there. He's been promoting you coming on the show. And Dave, I know. So everybody is in the chat room, so they're all lovely, and they're laughing now. <laughs> also, the night that we went to see your show, which was fabulous, everybody, you should really go and listen to this gal sing. Can she sing? Uh, I understand my favorite song out of the whole evening is – just been released and we're playing it tonight no i don't know if we're playing oh, it. oh wow, i love that song i don't know which one it is the one that you like vengeance or something no i don't think that's uh, on cd what is sick, it called? sick addiction sick addiction, sick addiction. i love that, it. yes it's, it's not on here though it's not on that why album. isn't it on the album ah <laughs> uh, like well it's song Here's the thing, Ron. I decided that I was going to um, hold off that song for your show because you told me you wanted it on your show. Right. And so you'll just have to have me on again and we'll play it. Actually, oh. I'd, if you have a little more lead time, I'd actually like to get the band to play it live for you. That would be Yeah, but now I'm, now I'm disappointed, so forget the dinner. <laughs> oh. Is that all it takes well, to me to disappoint now, you? Now you've been reduced to lunch. <laughs> Are you fair? Are you a fair weather friend? Because no, no, I'm not I, happy. I'm going to have you come to lunch with a few guys from the Department of Sanitation. Oh, you're going to break my legs? <laughs> oh. I, 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 I thought you were playing that song. To Actually, we're going to really play a pissed. new song. We're going to play a new song. No, I and you've hear, never heard I it. I want to hear Sick of Everybody out there, if you hear it's Sick It's not available. Addiction. You can't buy it No, I know, yet. but I'm giving them a, a pre-pre. I'm here. I'm telling everybody out there. You know my taste in music is pretty good. I, I cipher out the crap today they have. Uh, Sick Addiction is a fabulous song. When you hear it, you're going to want to buy it for sure. 
Actually, uh, you know, you never even sent me a free copy. Yeah, oh, not of that. A sick addiction. No, what's it's with not you? It's not out. It's not it's out. Not out. It's not but I went in the studio, Ron. We went in the studio and recorded it specifically for you. Oh, good. So <laughs> it's recorded, and I have to email it to Jimmy, and then uh, and then you'll be able to listen to it whenever you like. So and I then put it in the car. I love that sick addiction because you know I was addicted once to somebody. Well, <laughs> I know what that sick addiction is all about. They could walk all over you and you say, more, more, more. In the meantime, every, yeah. in the meantime everybody in the chat room is inviting her to dinner. <laughs> well, look what she oh. looks like. Look what she oh, looks like. Can, they, she, can you, like, record the chat room, you know, like, copy and paste it so I can read it later? It would be such a cool thing to be able to actually do that. But yeah. there's a ton of people in there. They all love you. But I think a lot of the guys that are inviting her to dinner, they think they want her to be the dinner. Oh, Maybe. Look, oh, they'll have to sing for their supper. So, so chewable. They'll have to sing for their Delicious, supper. Delicious, delightful, and chewable. So let's talk about this a little bit. This Forevermore, it was not out the last time we had you on. And then no. now it's available like everywhere, like on all the digital download sites and everything for everybody to buy, right? Yes. You guys, it's got one, two, three, four, five songs. It's got Forevermore, Dancing in the Rain, Empty Castles, Not Not Sure, and Forevermore, the dance version. The music and lyrics are by Sharon Lee, and it's got the whole band. And we should last time I don't think we really got to give a shout out to the band, so we're gonna give a little shout out to the band. So that was great. So uh, here's, here's the Sharon Lee band, you guys, and then you can say something afterwards, Sharon. Uh, first of all, uh, the the whole all the music is by the Sharon Lee band. Sharon Lee plays piano and vocals. Rick Giannotti is guitar and synthesizers. Howie Fallon is drums, and Tony Screws is bass. And we saw all these people when we went and saw them perform and met them. They're all super cool guys. Very nice people. Very nice people. And, and they make up the awesome Sharon Leah band. Congratulations, Sharon. Thank you so much. I feel very blessed. There you so, go. So, yeah, you did great. You, you, you introduced everyone's names and spelled it, um, pronounced them properly. That's awesome. <laughs> you thought I was going to mess up Giannotti, right? I, I did. But actually, it is kind of easy, you know. So... Uh, we're we're mess up Tommy Screws a lot. Tony Screws. Or Tommy Screws. <laughs> you could, that one you could mess up easy, especially if actually, especially you if you're introducing. You didn't actually meet Tony. Tony was not with us that night. Tony is um, a gentleman uh, who who did the album with us, um, but he wasn't there with us that night. And hopefully, when you come see us on another gig, you'll you'll be able to meet him. But What's he is wrong just, with his name? Is if I was the MC and I was introducing him, and a yeah. female following him, like Angelina Jolie, I would say, "And Tony Screws, Angela Jolie, is here today." <laughs> it wouldn't work, would it? Yeah, it would. You know, if he's watching the show, he's not going to be happy. <laughs> Well, Tony Hi, tells Tony. Angelina he should only live so long. <laughs> should only be so lucky to even meet her. He kiss her hand. Oh, hang on real quick, too. Everybody, uh, uh, on the count of three, you included, Sharon. On the count of three, we're all going to say, hello, goddess, okay? One, okay. two, three. Hello, hello goddess. goddess. How is my dream woman? I bet you she's really a big, fat old man. No, she's not. You, she sends you pictures. That doesn't have to be her picture. <laughs> Did you ever go on these love sites? The guy puts a picture up. I'm 35. I'm gorgeous. I'm built like a shit brick shit out. And then you meet him, and he's an ugly, scrawny old little Chinese man or something. <laughs> You know, what do they do to that picture? My God. That's terrible. All right, you guys. So here's what we're going to do. First of all, uh, for you guys who, who like great music, the Sharon Leah Band CD is available for everybody. They're also number one in the pop music category for uh, Reverb Nation in Trenton, New Jersey. Congratulations on that. Thank we're going to play a song because I want everybody to hear hear the song. And the song we're going to play is Not Not Sure. Um, and um, so I want you to introduce it. Let me make sure Chad's got it all ready to go. You got it ready to go, Chad? Hi, Captain. All right, so Sharon, you introduce this to everybody, and then we're going to play it, and then we'll come back and talk some more. Okay, this is uh, sort of like a blue-eyed soul song um, called Not Not Sure, and uh, I hope you really enjoy it. Well, let's go.
us is Sharon Leah. Sharon, that's such a beautiful song. It really it gives me goosebumps. Thank you. That was uh, written for a particular time and place in my life, and I don't usually do that. I don't usually write about stuff that I'm going through. I usually try to put myself in someone else's shoes and write yeah. about something. Don't Can you hear me? No, because I felt it. This was a torch song. We used to call them years ago torch songs. I could yeah. hear the pain in it. I could feel the emotion. It makes uh, the lyrics and the music far better. It actually makes you feel it. Like, actually, you know, I love it. I mean, it's a beautiful torch song. And if ever you want to commit suicide, have a wine and play this song. You'll kill yourself because it tells everybody what they what pain it is. Yeah. It's it's a, it's really a, a, a it's a good song. It's I'm, I'm going to cry. <laughs> well, the other one is my favorite, Sick Addiction, but this one I put second. That one I wrote after he didn't he didn't go for what I was trying to put out there. <laughs> no, there seriously, if, if you have a breakup, play this song. You'll cry the jerk out of your heart. I, yeah. <laughs> so Meanwhile, beautiful. I want people to know she not only photographs beautifully, but she is beautiful in person. Because sometimes, you know, you look good on screen and you meet them and you think it's their mother. Or, or somebody else, like, ugh, they're ugly. This girl is truly beautiful in person, and that's quite Aww. a... Oh, no, I'm not throwing, you know, you. bouquets at you. Come on. I know you're not. And I, wanted, I want to defend my wonderful name and reputation. If you would have read my Facebook page, you would have seen that I had a torn meniscus and knee surgery. So right, I've been out of commission for six weeks, unable to cook. Plus, Jimmy and I have been traveling a lot up to the mountains and, and all over the place. So that's why. And, also, and I've got a torn well, rotator on, cuff. And it's summertime. <laughs> I don't really like to entertain in the summer because I can't have the fire on, the candles going, you know, that sort of fallish dinner party thing. Summer, it's barbecue outdoors. And I'm not going to throw hamburgers and hot dogs at Sister Sledge. <laughs> you know, I love her too much. <laughs> Kathy's an angel. I love her. Oh, so wait matter. till fall. So wait till fall and we'll, we're going to get it I, together. I entertain a lot in the fall. I really do dinner parties in the okay. fall. You get in the mood. Would you like to do a dinner party in the summer? Never. First of all, the air conditioning makes the candles melt <laughs> all over the table. Then you got to scrape the table. That's great. Oh, Let's Jimmy do. do. All work. right, so hang on. Okay, anyway, we're going to work that out. We've both been a little under the commission. Uh, he, him with the torn meniscus, and I have a torn rotator cuff. <laughs> you had to get that in. Oh, wow. <laughs> With your shirt. And so, uh, so here's what we're going to do next, everybody. First of all, Sharon is going out of town. That's next weekend, right? Yeah. Next week? Uh, next Wednesday we leave. Okay, she's going to the Cutting Edge Music Business Conference. You know, Cutting Edge Music Business Conference in New Orleans, August 27th through 29th. Um, the website for it is www.cuttingedgenola.com. I guess that's for New Orleans. Um, she's going with another Lady Lake artist, Diane Cameron. You guys are both performing. Uh, yeah, separately, but yes, we are both from Lady Lake, and we're going to both be heading out there, and I will be watching her, and she will be watching me, us. We'll be watching each other, so I'm super excited about that. Diane is an absolute lovely lady, and uh, it's really great that we all support each other. So Absolutely. Yeah. So you're going to be playing Thursday, uh, August 27th at 8 p.m. at the Little Gem Saloon, and Friday, 828 at 8 p.m. at the Sweet Lorraine's Jazz Club. Um, the whole band's going, right? Are you taking the whole band? 
the whole band is going. Uh, let me, so I'll give you the rundown. Rick Giannotti on guitars is coming. Okay. Uh, Howie uh, Fallon on drums is coming. Okay. We have a guest um, bassist. He's a monster on the bass. His name is Davey Angelo. All right, Davey. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Davey. I don't know if he's in the chat room. He was going to try to make it in, but he may be listening. Okay. But I wanted to give him a shout out. And I really do, if you would just allow me to thank the people who donated to our Indiegogo campaign. Absolutely. It's so cool that you got finance to go there through Indiegogo. Yeah. Um, can I just rattle off a few names? Is that all right with you? This is a big thank to everybody from Sharon Lee and the Sharon Lee well, band. First of all, explain what it is that she's thanking. A lot of people don't know what we're talking about. So Indiegogo was a platform for us to raise money so that we could get out to New Orleans and have lodging because it's not, you know, when you, you don't, you, they aren't paying for it. It wasn't all expense paid. So in order for us to get out there, we had to raise money and uh, we were able to, to meet our goal and therefore we can go. And I'm super excited about it. And I'm, I'm feel blessed and so thankful that people who believe in us, you know, and some strangers, as a matter of fact, and people I didn't expect to, to, to donate, um, you know, they, they helped us out. And I really just want to say thank you to them. So is it all right if I just yeah, rattle off yeah, a couple of names? Rattle them off. Okay. Uh, Danny Cordon, Amy Pine, Kathy Shad, Jean Piero from Hamilton Radio. Awesome. Uh, Joe DeBronzo is a real estate guy. Um, Robert Camiso. George Vincent has a, a movie that he's uh, putting out, and he donated. Um, and several other, Kathy Shad and... Uh, there's probably 15 more people, but I, I don't want to take up too much time. I will I will have it posted on my website. So if you guys go to SharonLeahBand.com, the names are up there if you want to know more about the tour and who uh, donated to help us get there. Actually, too, we want to give a shout-out to Hamilton Radio, just like you just did. Uh, the Jimmy Star Show can now be heard on Hamilton Radio Wednesday nights at 10. And, that is awesome. Uh, and we he met Hamilton to Radio through coming to your show. That's how we met Hamilton Radio. Great guys, great radio station. You guys should check it out. It's HamiltonRadio.net, I believe. Yes. Yeah. Um, there, he's, sure. He does all he can to support indi uh, independent music, and he just let me know that I'm one of the top five requested uh, artists Thank on you. Hamilton Radio. Congratulations. Sharon. Uh, yes. You said something, I don't know if you said, you, you don't know why you got all this money. I'll tell you why you got all this money, because people heard your music. And people believe in your music, and they believe in your voice. People don't give money away to nothing. People only give money away to something. So consider yourself a big something. Thank you, Ron. And that's Thank the you. truth. It's common sense. Any dummy would understand that. That is really beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, I wanted to tell you, too, you don't have a copy of this. Can Center you see that? Of copies. <laughs> Okay, I can see it. Yeah. We love free copies. Anything free, send us. We love free. <laughs> I will bring this to you when you make me dinner. There you go. Right, that's in the fall. That's in the fall. That's good. All right. Now, and is, that, is that the... Uh... There's this album, too. That's my children's album. But this one album. has fairy tales. Uh, that night at, 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 at the cocktail table. What was the... Hang on. Go back. Show us the children's album. So when did the children's album come out? That was uh, like 2001. Okay, and it's like, what, so when you say children's album, it means what? It's like children's music? It's for children. So it's for educators or parents or caregivers or, you know, young mommy and me classes and stuff like that. I really, uh, I was a mommy and me teacher for a while. Uh, and it's funny. because so cute. Isn't that cute? Well, um, she's got children. That's why. She's a mommy still. <laughs> she's got little children. So this is, um, you know, this is part of what I, I started with, and then I went on to this one, and that's, and that's where Fairy Tales is from okay. that. Oh, I love you know, Fairy you Tales. Should, you should do YouTube, a little bit of YouTube, with a little bit of your uh, albums. She and has it. She's on YouTube, she's on on Reverb YouTube Nation. With, with her albums? Yeah. The child, I didn't see it. You no, didn't. I don't. I looked her up on YouTube. It's not there. There's, that not, there's nothing live, Jimmy. There's really nothing live. Only uh, me singing We Belong by Pat Benatar and a song from Phantom of the Opera. It's an opera song I'm singing. So can't like you that. somehow do something to get that out? Um, I I guess I need a videographer. I don't have uh, money for well, video. This business is so goddamn expensive. It's ridiculous. It is. It's really it's re it's really actually, hard. Actually, too, I have a because you know what I didn't I I plugged in Sharon Leah to find out what your website was. And it took yes. me to SharonLeah.com, and then I was going to tell you, like, there's nothing been posted on that site for, like, a really long time. And so yes. I'm, you said SharonLeahBand.com because I didn't know what your website was. 
And I think that you should put that on your Twitter handle also. Besides your Reverb Nation, you should put your website on there because that takes people directly to it from Twitter, and you'll get a lot of traffic. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, and I wrote. So if you guys want to find out more about Sharon Leah Band, you have to go to SharonLeahBand.com because, like, I was looking all over for it and I couldn't figure it out. And I thought, you know, like that's such an important thing, especially since you've got so much great things going on, and your website, you know, has all that information for people to see. That way, they don't yeah. have to go looking for it. So that's just a little hint. I wrote on my Facebook page this morning. I don't know if you read it about this technology is ridiculous. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Twitter. I'm on uh, that other, that new thing, Lighthouse. What Periscope. Oh, Periscope. You're not really on I'm Periscope I'm on all these yet. crazy <laughs> things, and I don't want to be on one. And a lot, I, of, a lot of my page readers came in and said, Ron, we want you to be on there so we know where and what and everything you talk about. You really help us along a lot. So media is important. If you don't get the word out today through the media, you're not going anywhere in this business. Are you on Periscope? I am on Periscope. Oh, I did my I did my first Periscope at a gig I was at two weeks ago. It was at Epic Fail. <laughs> uh, the gig or the Periscope? No, the Periscope. Okay. No, my guys, I I was just like, wait, I'm like, hi guys, just say hello. You know, and they're like, huh? I know it takes some time. Like it takes time. Like I noticed that the people who are who are really doing a lot uh, and getting a lot of feedback, they're on it every day because I have a certain people that I follow, and they're on it every day at the same time. They do a thing, and I, I don't have time to do that, so I haven't quite got it all figured uh, out yet. Maybe I'll do my my children's music, or and you know, I'm doing this ladies for a cause event, which we will have to talk about too. Okay, tell but, us. Um, so it's ladies who rock for a cause, and. Uh, me and my partner Dawn are two female fronted bands and we are, you know, bringing women together for a cause. We're going to be benefiting a woman who's got stage four breast cancer and Christine's hope for children. Christine died in Haiti during the earthquake in 2010 while she was helping children. And she was, a, she was young herself. And, um, and so it's a, it's a cause that's near and dear to Dawn's heart. And we have gotten so much support. I just, I can't believe it. I've been working really hard, like, on getting all of the parts of this together. This is my first fundraising event. And, um, you know, it's wonderful because I feel like I have a voice that, you know, one of the reasons is if God gives you a gift, just like you, you guys have your gifts and you share them with people and you share them with your fans and you help others. And uh, mm -hmm. so many people in the chat room, they have their gifts and, and help others. And, and hopefully uh, this will be a great event. And we're a bunch of women who are, are going to use our gifts and our voice to help others. It's October 17th. And where uh, is it? October 17th? Yeah, at McStew's in Levittown. So I'll put that information up online too, and you can buy tickets online, and we're working out, you know, we've got a lot of stuff in place. I probably tagged you in something, and I think I put a big post I'll on Facebook on Twitter. today. Okay, I'll, look, I'll follow it all on Twitter, so. <laughs> So you guys want to go to that. If you're in New Orleans area, make sure you're going to the Cutting Edge Music Business Conference. It's August 27th through 29th. If you want to find the schedule and more that's going on, check out CuttingEdgeNola.com. Um, you want to get the new Sharon Leah Band EP Forevermore. That way you can hear the song Not Not Sure. And I'm pretty sure the dance version of Forevermore is going to like totally kick ass. And... That. <laughs> and... Um, you want to make sure you follow Sharon Leah on Twitter at Sharon Leah, and if you want to find out more about her, it's SharonLeahBand.com because I didn't know that one. How's that? Well, we learn every day, don't you? That's right, I learn every day. And follow her on. <laughs> and so, what are you? So you're at Sharon Leah on on Twitter. What are you on Periscope? The same? Um, probably Sharon Leah. Okay, so you follow her and just keep working on the pair. I'm working on it too. Today I tried to do it and like for some reason nobody could hear me. I don't even know oh. what the heck happened, so nobody could hear me. I was probably canceling you out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of fun. Um, also, then, um, I, wanna, I forgot what I was going to say while wow, I had a brain that fart. That happens at your age. <laughs> I know. It's the start of you know what. Do you have any other shows coming up before Dementia. you go out of town next week? Do we need to tell anybody about any other shows coming up? No, thank goodness, because I've got so much work to do. So uh, the only thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing up Sick Addiction. We're going to mail that over to you. Yeah, that's and, uh, In a way, of course. <laughs> and I'll be night. Listen, well, what's going on in your love life? Are you dating anybody? Are you, is anybody serious? I mean, what's happening? I am totally serious. Nobody? Well, you are serious. I'm serious. Seriously, well, not going to talk tell about me, it. Tell me. Listen, I'm all, not going to tell you listen, about it. All, listen, all our listeners, please don't listen to this. It's private between Sharon <laughs> and I. Tell me. Tell me all about it. Is he uh, cute? Um, so, you know, the, the song is... 
Is he cute? Um, you know, adorable. Does he have money? Wait, it's a she. Hold on. Roxy, come here, girl. <laughs> oh, your dog. Roxy. Oh, your dog. <laughs> I thought you had a boyfriend going on. It's your dog. Also, oh, you're she sick seems, of time. You're in love being, with your dog. So am I. Yeah, we're, we have, we're I in love, love with dog. ours, too. That's so funny. She's glowing. Oh, so. I thought you know, I thought I was going to get some good dirt here because I didn't want anybody out there to listen. They wouldn't have listened. They would have all turned I, their radio. I'm the master of keeping the juicy, juicy details between me and my private conversation. So when I'm having dinner with you, all bets are off. You can it, ask me. Yeah. No, 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 no. You that. know what? Let me tell you something. An empty entertainer yeah. doesn't hold the interest of the audience. Remember that. Empty uh, meaning they know nothing about you except your music. You become one-dimensional. But the minute you tell them that you're having an affair with Brad Pitt or George Clooney, suddenly you become an, a, a friend. Suddenly they want to know more. <laughs> Not just your music. Like, what's, what's he like in bed? What's he like? Does he give you flowers? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You become dimensional. I found when I did my TV show, Set the Record Straight, I was one-dimensional. I was Ron Russell. No one knew I was gay. Nobody knew anything about me. I kept it professional. And it, it didn't go very far. But now that I'm doing the Jimmy Starr show and talking about my life and my stuff, I've gotten far more famous and people really like me better because now they know me. And they know that I'm a little kooky, that I'm, I'm a fun guy. So I think being dimensional is good. I wouldn't go into my sex life because I don't I have any. But... <laughs> See, now, now I don't feel like you're being honest with us. So. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. They know. Still a well, did you see on Facebook I put a really lovely post? I don't usually share a lot. Like you right. said, maybe I need to start sharing a little bit more. A little bit. Not, don't go But down. I put a really wonderful post on Facebook. It's the one that's underneath your advertising. If you get a chance to go read it. I it, did it this morning. Refreshing my memory so I remember. Oh, it's just about. It. a nice thing you wrote. It's about. It's about planting the seeds in your life, following your right. heart, following your dream, gaining a voice, and being able to help others. Right. You know, sort of a, a little story about my journey. Right. I love that. But my, my, if Miley didn't do the stuff that Miley does, Miley wouldn't be as famous as Miley is. And that goes for um, people back in my day. I mean, you know, my day, they never discussed if they were married or not. And they were one-dimensional. Now... All the actors and rock stars, they come out with whatever, and people love them. They, people want dirt today. They just don't want to, They don't want talent. They want dirt. That, actually, you got to think about it. That's why like Periscope is going to be the most famous thing for anybody to be on because you can basically broadcast every sec, everything that goes on in your life any time that you want to do it, and everybody like tunes in to watch. It's unbelievable. What I like about Periscope, Periscope is if you have a boyfriend and he turns out to be a dirtbag, you can talk about him, and, and all you have to say is, in my opinion, and he can't sue you. So you say, in my opinion, I was going out with a dirt bag with a two-inch wiener that didn't know where to go, and he's so mentally disturbed, and he had warts on his testicles. That would make the guy kill himself. Wow. The Listen guy, to Chad. The guy would kill himself. And you say, and any girls, and here's his name and his address and his phone number, so if ever you go out with him, don't. Listen to you. All right. So well, here's that's a good way to do. get revenge. Then you play your song. Well, Ron, I'll share you. I'll share this one thing right there. Is a is my a painting that I did. Painting. Uh huh. In the background. What can I see? I haven't got binoculars. Oh yeah, you can. It's right there. What can I see? It's dark. Can oh, well. you see? Anyway, he can. I can see it. I see a little. Square it's you thing. and somebody. Yeah. I see a white T-shirt. Uh, that's a, that's the dude, and she's the girl next to it, and we don't know who the dude is, but, but I guess one dark. day we'll find she's out. She's dark. Oh. Do you want me to? I'll, do you want me to show you real quick? Yeah. Open the door. You've got to show me. And I'll kill myself. I have to know everything. You know, I'm a, I'm a yenta. I'm a yenta. Uh, bring, bring it up. Bring it up. Bet you that that's her son. No. Oh, he's too old to be your son. That's All a right. friend. Nice. That's me. You look good. Your body, anyway. I can't see your face. Uh, I'm holding on to a, a railing with roses on it, and this is my producer from this album. But okay. that's not your boyfriend. No. This is my producer who paid for part of it. And that's, that's my piano. There you go. Okay. I don't want to see your producer or your piano. You know, Ron. It's your boyfriend. Come on, be a sport. <laughs> Gee whiz. I show you my boyfriend every Wednesday. Look. Ugh. Actually, 
actually, is, everybody, cool, cool, everybody cool. in the, everybody in the chat room loved the painting. It says it looks. So what do you beautiful. think of Jimmy's little stupid? Nice. I love my hair. I too. told Jimmy he looks like Lucy Ball, and I love Lucy. I love it. If I made All right. Ari, Ron, yeah. Ron, for you, I'm gonna tell you yes. who I'm seeing. Would you like to know who I'm seeing? Yes. He's in the band. <gasps> Tommy Screw. I knew that. Screws. I already knew that. No, I, I you he wanted to know who it is. I'm Here's the thing: you're not supposed to dip your ink in the company, your pen in the company ink. So we've always been very That's quiet. Uh, right. He's no. my guitarist. There you go. I work. Yay! I, 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 and he's gorgeous. You know what? I'm. Stupid. He is gorgeous. <laughs> I'm stupid because the night that I met you two, he told me he was going out with you. So what is wrong with me? My mind has no memory. Listen. <laughs> I believe in, listen, I worked with Jimmy on a Halloween uh, show. And that's when I flipped over him when I saw him in a suit and tie and a white shirt. He looked normal. I thought, Boy, You know what's nice a... is I get to work with my best friends. Yeah, and that's how I felt with Jimmy. We, we record our music. We have a studio. We, you know, I do all the graphic design. I do all the artwork, the packaging, everything. The T-shirt that Jimmy's got on yeah. that I gave you guys. He's a um, nice guy. You have my approval. I like him. He's wonderful. Very he's handsome, nice. Talented. And good know. looking. And good looking. Yeah. So it's okay to work with somebody and fall in love with them. I think that's a good way to get to know them. Well, and all our free time is spent doing music. So we're not pissed off at each other because you're exactly. doing something else. It's not like he wants to go horseback riding and I want to go play tennis. Exactly. And then we spend all these hours away from exactly. each other. So. Yeah. The other thing is, you know, the, the I'm name you Barbara was, Walters. You're Barbara Walters now because you just dug deep and made me. No, but wait, you know, the bad <laughs> part of that is if the chicks hit on him and when the guys hit on you, that kind of makes a little fire it down doesn't. below. No, it, no, it doesn't because. Uh, guys with Jimmy. If guys hit on me, which Jimmy claims that they hit on me no matter where I go because it's all. I am mind. telling you, Sharon, that it's like. not true. We don't go to gay bars very often, but we went to a gay bar and literally we were at our own table. Right next to each other, and somebody walked up and literally stood in front of me with their back to me and introduced themselves to him. I mean, it was um freaking believable. Hey, listen, I believe it because you're both good looking guys, but well, you know, the jerk. This is my 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 husband. But I hate that he gets hit on everywhere. When he when he drives around in his convertible, beautiful women hit on him, beautiful men hit on him. Everybody, is- it doesn't matter where we go. He is really handsome. No, no, but it's in Jimmy's mind. And I'm not just it's saying. Not in my no, wait, mind. It's all in Jimmy's head, trust me. It's not in my it head. Ha- if it happens, I'm not aware of it. It happens like every day. No, it doesn't. It's in, I, it's I, in actually, head. hey, everybody's saying they want a Sharon Lee uh, band t-shirt. Like, do you have those for sale someplace that I can direct people? We do. Um, they're available on eBay right now. Uh, the link is on the Sharon Lee band. Page. All right, you guys, go to SharonLeahBand.com and you can find out. we got to get this thing moving. Everybody's talking about how Ron, hot Ron is now. Hot, stop Ron's it. hot. Sharon Lee is hot. I'm Sharon hot. Lee is boyfriend's hot, so let's go. So, everybody, listen. Sharon Lee is going to be at the Cutting Edge Music Business Conference in New Orleans, uh, August 27th through 29th. Follow her on Twitter, at Sharon Leah. Check out her website, SharonLeahBand.com. Get her new EP. Actually, her meaning her and the whole band's new EP, uh, Forevermore. It's available on all the digital download sites now. She's a super great talent, and we love having and her I on the show. I wanted to say one thing. You know, I don't like rock. Everybody knows that, so I'm not going to lie, because I never lie, and say, oh, I love rock music, because I don't. Her music is tolerable. Her couple of songs are incredible. So if you like rock music, you're going to love her band. And the three or four that I'm crazy about, you're going to go nuts over so it's Thanks. worth. It's, how much are these albums anyway? I don't know. They're not real expensive. How much is the EP on iTunes? Uh, I think it's eight dollars. Oh yeah, my like god, $8. eight bucks! You guys, it's so worth it. You can't it. even get four bananas for eight bucks. No, right. <laughs> it's like buy, the pro- cup of coffee. Go buy. Yeah, Starbucks. My Starbucks is more than that. When I get my chocolate croissant and my coffee, I think it's like eight bucks. Go out and buy this album. Help this gal. That's right, you guys. And support indie music. Indie yeah. music is the best music. It's not right. the same crap you hear every day on the radio. It's really great. So please support all the indie artists, and, and, and her especially music, the Sharon Leah band. What I liked about her music was it had a beat. And not that same boom, 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 boom. But and she holds a note. That like the, she and, holds and a she note. Can, and she can sing. She holds a note. If anybody holds a note, in my eyes, they're singers. So and not only she's beautiful to look at, and she's sexy on the stage, and she's just a sweetheart of a girl. So help Thank her you. out. Go buy the album. Don't be a stiff. So Thank Sharon, you. 
Good luck in, in New Orleans. Have a really good yes, time. Travel, break a leg, honey. Break a leg. Travel safely. We love you, and, and thanks so much for coming on the show, and we'll talk to you soon. And I'll really? see you at dinner at my house soon. Let it chill I'll, down. I'll ah. be there. Bye, Sharon. Okay, Thank bye, you. Bye, bunch. She bye, is bye. Bye-bye. She's just great. She is just one of the nicest people. I, I love mean, it. You know, she's real. Even in person, she's real. Absolutely. The way she is on our show, she's in, in, in person. She's not a snob or like, I'm a star or excuse me. No, she's none of that attitude crap. She really sings different. So, Chad. Yes, sir. I thought we would take a quick 